Hi guys, it's Aaliyah. Welcome back to my channel. So I am here to share this cute little journal set that I um, have just finished making. Um, so the set is basically the main journal, which is the big journal, and then like a little um, pocket sized journal. This one, it measures three and a half by five and a half, and it's just filled with blank pages. Um, it's a mixture of coffee dyed pages. Um, I think there's some resume paper in here and some other just random papers. But this one is perfect to stick, you know, like in your bag or, you know, anywhere just to kind of journal on the go. But it matches because I love the paper for this that I used. It, so it matches, but also there was like that little small piece after I cut this one down. And I didn't want to let the little one go to waste. So I figured why not make a little, you know, companion journal for this. So this is a little set right here. Um, that is just so oh I just love this paper and originally when I in a previous video when I was talking about this I thought this was wallpaper it's not it's actually vintage wrapping paper because um Danny who gifted it to me told me because <laughs> I I wasn't sure because it, it was thicker so I was thinking that maybe like uh wrapping paper would be like a thinner like wrapping paper uh, but this is just because maybe it's vintage and they just made it thicker back then so we have the little book and then we have the main book and let me just take off this tie so you can see how cute this cover is look at this little girl she is so adorable so adorable and just all the just like the images it's just amazing a little bit chunky a lot chunky um, but that's okay. It's just packed full of goodness. All right. So let me get in and this actually, I wrote it down so I wouldn't forget this time. It measures five and a half by eight and a half. And I ended up calling this one vintage kids just because, you know, there's kids all over it and it's vintage. And even look at this. Do you see these little cuties right here? I mean, how adorable is that? Okay. So on the inside, um, I do have an altered, let me sit down so I can be a little more comfortable. All right, so I do have an altered uh, library pocket with the card. Um, what I did was um, I altered this part, but for the card that goes in here, I just inked around the edges because I thought, you know, you can use this to write on, you know, maybe to put some dates or important things. So I didn't want to cover it too much just in case, you know, there were things that you wanted to add here about the journal. So that goes in there. And then also a letter from the bookmaker. So that is what's in this pocket. And this is cute. This is actually um, a vintage page. I believe it's, I don't remember if it's out of a book or possibly a magazine i can't remember but it is vintage and then i also backed it on to some vintage uh, book page and the papers in here they're a mixture of vintage pages and um non-vintage pages like the coffee dyed pages and stuff like that um, there's also a lot of vintage elements in here like um, some trims some appliques ephemera stuff like that once we get like if i remember as we're going i will definitely point that out so here is the front pocket but not only is it a pocket and it's made out of a vintage library card or card catalog library card catalog I don't know. I struggled with this in my last video too. I don't really know how to call these because they're library cards, but I also think that like these are library cards, but these are the ones that go in the card catalog in the libraries because it has a little hole in there. So I'm just going to call them library card things going forward because I don't know. And it's a tongue twister to say the car library card catalog, but so that's what it is, but it flips up and then inside you have um, pages that you can um, journal on and then it flips down but it's also a pocket and in the pocket here is one of those tags that I made oh my gosh and my hands have glue and stuff all over them I do apologize um, yeah and I love these tags and I would definitely want to make more of them because 
I am in love with the way they came out from, and I said this in my other video, from the way that the book page kind of tore away from the tag part, um, the way the stickers look on them. And these are stickers from my sticker book that I got for my birthday. Um, you know, it's just really love it. Love the stitching all around. And then you can always write on the back as well and down here. So yeah, I definitely want to make some more of those. And this is a vintage um, stock bin card. Um, so when I was creating this, it took me a while actually to create it. I worked on this for a long time. Um, and I wanted to put random bits and pieces in it uh, just to kind of, I don't know, do something different, I guess. So here when I was ripping down some of the vintage, um, actually one of the vintage magazines that I was taking things from, it was a preventions magazine from, uh, 1967. Um, this was one of the, on one of the pages that I was, um, kind of tearing down, but I just sort of tore it down a little bit more and I glued it down. And here's an ad from that. Um, oh yeah. So June, 1967, I use this because it did have the date, but it's from a prevention magazine. And then here is a page that I, um, had gotten some spray on. So of course, you know, you don't throw those away, you reuse them and look how cute this is. And then there's a little vintage stamp there. Uh, here again, this is a vintage, um, it's like an advertisement for this, I believe it was a, yeah, a dealership. Um, but I added a little applique, that's vintage, and then some trim there. And another, when I was tearing another page down, um, this was in the corner, this little swan here. It looks like a swan, I think. Um, but of course, you know what? Put it on a page. So that's what I did. Um, here is, oh, this is a sticker. This is not from my sticker book. This came in like a, a pack of something that I ordered. There was um, stickers inside. So that was one of them. Um, here, see, it's pointing this way. So why is my hand pointing this way? Because this opens up. And let me just move it this way. And inside, uh, we have a little tuck spot. In the tuck spot, we have a vintage, it's a postcard. It hasn't been posted, but right here, it's copyrighted 1906. That is neat. So stuck that in here. And then there's a pocket here. And in the pocket, um, I have a vintage score, score sheet. And then it's also blank on the back, so you can definitely do some extra journaling back there. Okay. Um, and again, this came off the top of something that I was um, tearing down to use. So I glued it onto this page here, added some washi just for some extra strength. But you can definitely write here and you can write all over the back. Um, here's another vintage sheet. I did fold down and sew the corner. Um, and it's one of, I don't remember what kind of sheet this was. Um, it says third angle projection. Could have been for like an invoice or something possibly, but I don't remember. And maybe on the other side of this, there's more, you know, on the back, there's more information, but right now I don't. I just know it's vintage. And here... We have a see on the little paper clip. There's a little tiny heart. Let me see. If I can take this off. Oops. <laughs> Where am I going? Right there. So it's a little dangly on there, and um, my ring is crooked. Here is uh, one of the tags that I learned to make watching the video um, from Bonnie and Clive, and it's a double. Oh, no, it's not a double. It's a triple. I almost forgot there's a pocket here um, so we have a pocket here and I just stuck some stuff there we have a pocket here decorated this side here but there's also a pocket right here that I completely forgot about so you can hide some stuff away in there as well and here I just added a little book page to that and of course, since I'm on camera, I won't be able to get this back on, but I will do my best. Uh, here we go. Um, and here we have, this was, it is a um, postcard, but it hasn't been posted. 
and tucks back there. This here flips up so you can journal all over there. I did sew around all of that and I sewed this on. And then in the pocket here um, is like a little scrap pad. I use a little, um, what's it called? Tab on the top. Um, there was some little vintage paper and then this is just some coffee dyed paper that you can journal on front and back really and that tucks back in there and some more washi on this side and here is one of my little um, animal cutouts and I can't remember where I got them but I have a bunch of them so this is the little pink flamingo and I put a little pink flower there and here is just some letterhead and it's from Harvard University Graduate School of Business Administration so you can write all over the back of that. Here again, just decorated the side. Um, up here, I made a little, uh, like a little cluster. It's like a flowery cluster. And here's another little paper clip that I hand, uh, not handed, hang, hung um, a little charm off of. And this one says love. And this is like a little, um, fabric sample swatch it's held together with a tim holtz uh brad um and there's a little piece of a vintage doily and then just some strips of random fabric and then it's this is tag you can write here and you can also write on the back and this is vintage also and um i have put this a little um it's not vintage, it's like a, a replica, but of like a little vintage um, advertisement. And then I ran some lace down there. And let's put that back on. And here I have a little, uh, like a little, I don't know, cut out, a die cut. So another sticker for my book. This is one of those papers that open completely up. I'll show you in a minute. Um, here I just took some scrap paper and some children's writing paper to make a little tag. And then in here, that's a Tim Holtz piece. And here's a blank tag that you can write on the front and back. So this opens up completely. See? And these all flip down. So you can write all over on the inside, like secrets or something like that. Or you could hide something in here because then it will fold up and it will stay, you know, nice and safe and secure inside. So that tucks back behind there. And then these two you tuck there and there. And here I have a few, um, these are the thin guest checks, not the thick ones, but they make perfect um, writing spaces. So there's a few sewn on there, added some lace on top, did a little decoration here. This is some vintage paper. Um, here's another image uh that's it's a vintage image but it's a replica it's not like real um not not that it's not real it's not authentic uh, i did a little fabric ruffle and actually it was with lace and then in the pocket we have an altered library card and i believe i made this on one of my other videos and then you can um journal on the back of that and the nice thing about this it's not attached but it's like a little flap so you can still use the whole back if you want and you can even glue something here if you want but it's just attached with some uh, just a strip of coffee dyed paper and then some more vintage music with a, a little lace on the bottom this is some vintage it's like graph paper um, but it's I don't know what it's made out of it doesn't feel like regular paper and here is another little vintage um, from a hotel, from the Park Lane Hotel. And more paper that I had sprayed. This, I just put a little Tim Holtz um, decoration up there. And on the bottom, these little, or this little tuck, I also learned by watching Bonnie, over Bonnie and Clive, and it makes little mini pockets. So here, this is a vintage, um, I don't know if these are cigarette cards, but um, it is vintage. 1965 something I don't know there's a date but it's so super small at the 
very, very bottom. I don't even know if you can see that, but it's right there. So um, this little tuck, let me just show you. So you have the back tuck and there's a little Monopoly money. And here is a vintage um, calling card. So that tucks behind there. And then you have two little tucks here. So it tucks here and this tucks here. And then I added a little label. So if you want to write something on there, you could. And here's another one of the um, places where you can journal. And then there's three pockets. So there's just a guest check. And this is a, one of the thicker ones. So we have the guest check there, tucks behind here. One of my lovely tags, which I absolutely adore. Blank on the back so you can write on it. And uh, a vintage stock bin card. And another one of the vintage advertisements and a little sticker. And this, I don't know if I have the book close. Oh, I do. Um, I actually got it for Christmas. Was it Christmas or my birthday? Oh, it might have been from my from my birthday, from my mom. So it's this. It's Vintage Garden Ephemera. And it's all um, vintage advertisements, I guess, um, that you can cut out and use. See, so it's blank on the back, so you can cut all of that out. So I've been cutting stuff out of here and making ephemera or, you know, decorations and stuff. And then here, it's, um, this is a vintage book page from the book Oliver Twist. And I, as you can see, I only needed this part, so I had this part left over. So I said, why not, you know, use it. Here we have some washi tape. Um, on this one, sorry, I had to take some water. Um, there's a little tab so you can know to flip this open. And then you can journal all in here. And then this I took, um, this was just a part from the prevention magazine. Then we have a little ladybug on the top there. And here um, we have a little pocket on the outside and this is one of those little fabric samples and you can journal underneath and on the back and it has the little sea beads there. And this is a sticker from my book. So you can tuck it back in like this, but as you can see, there's a tab here. So open the tab and then you can journal all over the inside too. And here's another one of those vintage ephemera pieces. That's the reproduction, added some lace, and then that flips up and there's just tons of journaling space. And another little um, cluster there, a little vintage thing there. Lots of, oh, I almost ripped that. I was like, I thought it was <laughs> stuck. It was not stuck. Um, so here's the middle of the signature. And on this side, we just have a little flip so you can write um, underneath. And in this pocket, we have a vintage postcard. This has been posted and it's uh, April 11th, 1908. And it was going to someone in Attica, Kansas. But unfortunately, there was no, like, the person who sent it just sent the card. They didn't write anything. But it has the stamp and everything, so I still think it's pretty cool. And then here is a vintage letter. This is October 18th, 1949, going to New York City, New York. And then there's a little card on the inside. So that is there. Um, I added a little Tim Holtz flower just to kind of, here's the yellow flower here, kind of bring it all together. Um, here's another one of the um, animals. And a little just random bits of uh, doilies, or no, this came from Lace, this is a doily, and then I added a vintage button on there. I sewed them all together and then I glued it on. And just a little uh, cluster down here, that's a Tim Holtz picture. Some more decorating, uh, another little pocket sticker back there. Here's one of the little altered, um, playing cards that I had. You can write on the back of that. And this is a Discovery Toys card, and it's a picture of orange. And again, a tab, so you can know to flip out there. And another tab. Here's a little sticker. And so plenty of journaling space on that side. Another little set of guest checks for writing. 
another sticker and here is another um, paper clip and this has also a little heart on it some lace or some trim down there and then I made a little uh, kind of like one of those scrappy notepads with some cutoffs and um, it's a little bit of a cardstock on the back not a heavy cardstock um, but a little little heavier than copy paper so that is that some Tim Holtz uh, tickets here that flips up for journaling in the back um, this is made to look vintage but it's not it's not a an actual vintage postcard but perfect journaling card and then in here uh, we have a, just a uh, vintage Rolodex card and another little journaling card that I made with uh, some scrap uh, scrap scrapbooking paper <laughs> Here is, um, this is actually like letter paper, like to write letters. It came in a little journaling set, but I don't use it very often. So I thought I should start using it. And it's like a, almost feels like a handmade paper, like a mulberry paper or something. So it is a stronger paper, but I think it just is really cool. And on the back, I just did a little decorating down there and over here. And here's another little scrappy pad, but this one is actually sewn on to, um, to the page, but it does have a little tab on it just to make it look a little pretty. A little, kind of like a little tab there with lace, washi. Here's another one of the um, vintage ephemeras that's, you know, a copy of it. And I put it on some, um, I think this is from a tablecloth another vintage piece of ephemera. This is another one of those that opens completely up. Um, we have a little coat check ticket here, Monopoly money, and then some Tim Holtz and a Mr. Broccoli. And here I just did some layering sticker. This is also vintage. And this, um, it just folds sideways so you can do some journaling and then fold it back, added that on the bottom. And this flips up and just did a little cluster down there. And here that goes up. And this is a Tim Holtz tag and a guest check in there. Oh, here we have a little lion. Sorry, another sip of water folded that page down and sewed it and then one of um the bonnie and clive inspired tags that i now remember has a another pocket does this have something oh it does i did remember on this one ah <laughs> so for some reason on the other one i didn't remember that there was that third pocket but that one i did um oh so this was something just kind of different that I tried. Uh, so there is this, it folds out. Um, and this actually was part of the prevention magazine. And I must have just needed to cut it there because see, this is where it was stapled in. But I used it, glued it down, added some uh, coffee dyed paper to write, but then it also closes and I have some lace, little Tim Holtz decorations there. So this is the page that was from the beginning where I couldn't remember. I know it was vintage, but I didn't know what it was. Um, so it does kind of look like um, something for like for plans, like to make up plans or something. Because first made for, drawn by, inspected, revision. So some sort of like maybe architectural something or other. And it's on this like special paper. Um, it doesn't feel like regular copy paper. And I think it's kind of like the paper blueprints were made out of. So it could be architectural paper, I think, if that's even the word. Um, so here we have another hand pointing this way. Why? Because, again, we have some goodies tucked in. Here is a, a vintage, actually, this could be antique, um, postcard. And unfortunately, I can't read... It does say 1913, and I think it's for October 1913. And it was going to Iowa. 
So that goes there. And then in this little tuck, we have a vintage Rolodex card. And here is, this is actual uh, a vintage coupon. So that is real. You can see it's, it's very yellowed on the back. I don't know if that will show on camera or not. And then that tucks right inside. And it closes back up. And here again, June 1967, that is from the um, uh, Prevention Magazine, Tim Holtz. And another little, just, just a little collage, but you can write on here if you want to. Oh, so it was an advertisement, really, kind of it, but it came out of a classified business directory. So that was the one from the beginning that I was talking about. And then here we have um, uh, Runnymede Sports Shop in Pembroke, uh, I think that's Kentucky. So this is uh, like a letterhead from that shop. And here, oh my gosh, another one of my tags that I absolutely am in love with. I don't know if I should say that, but I really like them. And here again, we have a little place for some extra secret journaling on the inside. And I believe that's the last page and ending with one of my little handmade with love and my signature. So that is this little set here. So it has a little mini blank journal and then it has the big journal to match. So if you are interested, it will be listed in my Etsy. Um, I will leave the link to this listing in the description box below. And I hope you enjoy the walkthrough of this. I absolutely am in love with this paper. And I think I have just enough to make one more journal. So you might see in the near future another journal, unless I do something else with the paper. I'm not 100% sure yet, but we'll see what happens. So stay tuned. Uh, so as always, thank you so much for watching. And I will catch you in my next video. Bye.